Okay, guys, welcome to our first, hopefully, of quite a few revision lessons. Um, hopefully, this can give you a bit of a help at home um, and a bit of a review of some of the harder topics that we looked at at the beginning of the year or earlier on. So today, we're going to look at the first review topic of trig. Okay, we looked at this um, early in term three. Okay, um, make sure that we are writing some of this stuff down if we're having difficulties, okay, and we're completing some exercises, revision is the key to success in life as we know it. Okay, so in order to look at uh, trigonometry to start with, as we did in class, I want to look at uh, at the basic labeling the sides, I guess. So we're looking at a right angle triangle, because obviously we're doing right angle trigonometry. Now, sometimes we're given the angle, it might be 30 degrees, 40 degrees. In this case, it's given as an unknown, so we're using the Greek symbol theta, which just means unknown angle. Okay, so in terms of theta, we want to label the three sides to start with. Okay, sometimes, often we'll only label the two of them, but in this case we're going to label the three. Okay, one of the easiest ones to look at is the opposite side, because obviously it's opposite theta. We have adjacent side, which means next to, because obviously it's next to that angle there. And the last side there, which often is that actually the easiest one to find, is the hypotenuse. Now remember, hypotenuse is the longest side of any triangle, and if we can't find it, it's also opposite that right angle there as well. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that depending on where theta is, the opposite and adjacent sides can change. Okay, they can swap over. So if we look over here, I've put theta up to the top part now. So if we look for the opposite angle, obviously the bottom part now becomes the opposite. That side becomes the adjacent. And the good thing is the hypotenuse will never change. It's always the longer side of any triangle. It's always opposite that right angle. So let's have a look at an example to start off with. And we'll, we'll go a little bit easy example to start with. Okay. So we're going to look at, obviously, a right angled triangle because we can only use soccer tower in a right angled triangle. So we're going to look at a relatively straightforward one. We've got a length of 5 centimeters. We've got an angle of 30 degrees. And we've got an unknown of x centimeters. Okay, so if any question we're looking at, doesn't matter if we're looking for a side or we're looking for an angle, we want to label the two sides in relation to the angle that we're given. Now, in this case, it's 30 degrees, so it is an actual uh, value. So, in regards to 30 degrees, okay, we've got the adjacent side because it is next to the angle, and we've got the hypotenuse because it's the longest side of any triangle. So we've got adjacent hypotenuse. Now, what we've gotten to write down is obviously our trigonometry rules. And we look through the Sokatoa. Okay, Sokatoa. Our sine, our cos, and our tan rules. So we look at this and say, okay, we've got adjacent hypotenuse. And I look across there and say, okay, which will use adjacent hypotenuse? It happens to be my car, or my cos, or my cosine, whatever you want to call it. So, Cos 30 degrees equals my adjacent side, which is x, over my hypotenuse of 5. Now, this is a really nice question because x is on the top. Okay, so remember the whole idea of this is to get x by itself. So we want to get rid of this divide it by 5. So the uh, easiest way to get rid of divide by 5 is doing the opposite of divide by 5, which is times by 5. And often we want to just rewrite it so it looks nice and pretty. Okay, so. Oops, equals x there. Okay, so we've got 5 times cos 30 equals x. And the good thing is now, all we need to do is get that trustworthy calculator out, whack in 5 times cos 30, and it comes out to be around about 4.3 centimetres. That's to one decimal place. Now, obviously looking with our sine, cos, and tan um, uh, functions, now most of the time it's going to come out as a decimal. So, you know, one decimal place or two decimal places, either one's okay. Don't round it to a whole number unless they sort of ask you to, or they specify you to. So that's a pretty straightforward question where you're finding a, an unknown side. What we might look at now is a more challenging question, although it looks very similar, it is actually more challenging. We'll have a look at perhaps why that is more challenging. So again, any question where we've got um, trigonometry, we've got an angle, we've got two unknown sides, it is trigonometry. Obviously it can't be Pythagoras because we've only know one side, etc. So we want to label the sides in terms of adjacent, hypotenuse and uh, opposite. So we've got an opposite side, which is opposite 55 degrees, because remember we start from that 55 degrees. Um, we've also got an X, which is our hypotenuse. So we'll quickly jot down our Sokotoa again. So 
which rule uses our opposite and hypotenuse? Well, obviously, it's our sine rule. So we can jot that down now. Sine 55 equals our opposite of 10 over our hypotenuse of x. Now, this is a more challenging question. You might say, why? Okay, well, hopefully you've picked that up, that x is on the bottom here. Okay, that is more challenging because the whole idea we want to get x by itself. And when it's on the bottom, you know, there's not much we can do with it. There is a longer process and a shorter process. Hopefully you remember the shorter process, but I'll quickly go through the longer process just in case. So like the last time, in order to get rid of divide by x, because we don't want it on the bottom, we want to do the opposite of divide by x, which is times by x. Okay, so we times both sides, but x disappears. We've got x times sin 55. The issue is x still isn't by itself. So I need to eliminate this times sin 55. So what's the opposite of times sine 55? Well, it's divide by. So what you're actually going to notice, if I actually write that down, 10 divided by sine 55, what you should notice is that the sine 55 and the x have actually just swapped places. So if ever you have x on the bottom or the unknown on the bottom, you can actually just do a direct swap. Um, if you find that difficult to remember, you can do it the longer way, so either way is going to be okay. The best thing now is that it's just a straight calculation. Get your calculator out, type in 10 divided by sin 55, Bob is your uncle, we should have an approximate answer of about 12.2 centimetres. Okay. Um, also, it is very important to note, we are finding a side, so make sure you get those units right. There's nothing worse than doing all the hard work and then putting it on 12.2 degrees and getting it wrong because it's not an angle, it's, it's a side. So just make sure that we do that correctly. Okay. So again, we've labelled our sides opposite hypotenuse. We looked at the sine regime, x is on the bottom, we swapped it over, we found x equals 12.2. So we've looked at two different side questions. So what's left, you ask? Well, questions such as this, where we're finding theta. So we're given two sides in this case. I mean, we could use Pythagoras to find the hypotenuse, but that's not part of the question. So, you know, obviously that's not going to help us. So we're looking at a question where we're trying to find theta. Now, as I explained before, all these questions are exactly the same start, okay? Find your angle. Now, in this case, we're not given the angle, apart from it's labeled as theta. So in regards to theta, we have the opposite side, and we have our adjacent side. There's no hypotenuse this time. So again, go into our Sokatoa, and we should hopefully realize that if we've got opposite and adjacent, okay, it's our Toa. There's no H there, no hypotenuse. So let's have a crack. We've got 10 theta equals our opposite, which is 4, over our adjacent, which is 8. Now, the whole idea, just like last time, I'm trying to solve for the unknown. So I want to get theta by itself. Now, at the moment, you say, well, there's, it's 10 times theta. So the opposite of times 10 is divided by 10. But hopefully, you recall in class that when you put that into your calculator, it came up as a math error. We can't divide by 10. But the good thing is there is a key that allows us to do that. It's a key that looks like 10, negative 1. Okay? And actually, the way we find that is by pressing our shift and then our 10 button. Okay, which that, that will actually work out for us nice, nice and easy. So we're doing theta equals 10 negative 1, which means divide by 10, 4 over 8. And basically, if you can remember the main rules, that if ever you're finding an angle, you always have to press shift first. Okay, it just always works out that way, so it's nice and easy. And now it's a nice calculation where we throw that into our calculator, we press shift 10, brackets 4 over 8, or however your calculator likes to do it. And we can get, come up to approximately 26.6 degrees. If we, um, if we want to do it to the nearest degree, we could also put that to obviously 27 degrees. Okay. Um, you can do an extension if you want to do degrees and minutes. Um, you can press that little bubble button button there, and you can do degrees, minutes, and seconds, and that type of stuff as well. Okay. So look, basically what we've done so far, we've recapped in the first instance. We looked at um, labeling the sides, opposite hypotenuse adjacent, do that every single step of the way, doesn't matter if you're finding a, an unknown angle on an unknown side. Okay, um, Use your rule to figure out which it's going to be and then just implement it and you should be okay. All right. Um, now I suggest guys, if you have any problems, um, just uh, 
you know, go through your textbook, go through your workbook, um, replay this as many times as you want, um, and then obviously, uh, if you've got some more questions, you can post it on our website. Okay, well, I hope this uh, tutorial was um, informative and was of benefit to you. Um, again, if there's any questions, just, uh, just let me know. Cheers, guys.